Hello, um, hello YouTube viewers, um, well, I was making this video for the ones who really want to know how to play the recorder. So, I got my recorder right here. Hold on a second, I to do something. Um, yeah, um, that's my recorder book right here, and yeah, it's a book that I got from the class I was taking and I'm gonna show you how to play the recorder. So start off by opening the book. Yeah the cover's ripped off. It was the back cover. Um hold on let me get to some of it. Yeah the back cover's ripped off. There's a old book. And yeah the recorder family um, I'm gonna try to show this. Please pause and take your time to read all this because this is important. Um, uh, it's blurry. You can't really see it. I'm gonna try to get an HD camera. Anyway, I'll read it to you. There are six members of the recorder family the soprano, um, yeah, they put soprano twice. Oh, that's the sup. Oh, uh, yeah, the sopranino, the soprano, the alto, the tenor, the bass, and the big bass. Of these, there are four more popular and general in use. There's the bass recorder, the big recorder. There's the soprano. I mean, that's a sopranino. This is a tenor. This is alto. And this is soprano. And right now, um, you can have a soprano. Or, um, what I really want you to have is a soprano or an alto right now if you want to learn this. But anything will work, I guess. Of I'm not really sure. I think anything will work. Anyway, the soprano or descent is about 12 and a half inches long. And this the leading melody instrument. It is pitched C. And the notes are written in octaves, eight notes, lower than they sound. So the alto, sometimes called the treble, is about Eighteen and a half inches long. And the principal instrument <coughs> of the entire family is an F instrument with the notes written as they sound. It is considered the traditional instrument for which many of the great masters, Batch, Handel, Purcell, and etc. wrote their son test. The tenor is pitched C and is about 25 and a half inches long. The notes are written as they sound. It is a melody instrument that is often used in a cymbal playing. The bass is pitched in F and is about 36 inches long. It is. That's really deep. Um, prim, it is pr primarily an ensemble instrument. The notes are written as they sound, and the range is an octave lower than the alto. These two lesser used instruments are on the big bass, pitched and C sounds, an octave lower than tenor. It is about 49 inches long. It is wider than the bass and has a larger and richer tone. The soprano, 9 inches long, is the smallest in size and highest pitch. It is, no, the sopranino is highest, yeah, I was thinking that was wrong. It is an F instrument and the notes like the soprano are, the sop yeah, the soprano are written 
one octave lower than they sound. Alright, preface. This method for record is sometimes called index flute is um, designed to give quick, practical, and interesting instruction on all sizes of recorders. Soprano, alto, tenor, bass, and the rather rare soprano and big bass, I mean sopranino and big bass, the building of finger technique and tonguing is done through music rather than the then the dry repetition of monit monitorness yet yeah, monitu yeah monotonous exercise in this method yeah, it's hard to read skipping words you will find the greatest no, I, I don't I'm not skipping any words I'm it's just hard to read where it goes half of the word is on one line and half. The other half is on the beginning of the other. Uh, variety of folk songs, scared, and Christmas music, hymns, and jigs, plus many of the lighter works of the great masters. You're going to be learning to play masters. Okay, there's the back. You can't really read that. Have it all the way zoomed in. There's the front. You left them always goes here. Well, actually, I use my right thumb, actually. But, uh, it'll actually kind of work each way. And you can put your other thumb right there. Just don't cover up those holes. Uh, yeah, your left hand is up here. And there's the first, your first finger goes here. Second finger here. Third finger here. And then right on your right or left hand, whichever hand you have up here. Your first finger here, second finger here, third finger here, and fourth finger here. And yeah, and that's pretty much it from how to hold the recorder. Your first concern will be the position of left hand. As all fingerings in the beginning, oh, I'm running out of time, I with the left hand. Hold the recorder so that the center of the first finger of the left hand covers the hole near is the mouthpiece. Do not attempt to cover the hole with just the thumb covering the hole on the back of the instrument. The second finger or two of the left hand is not used. Hold the mouthpiece between the lips. Do not bite the tip of the mouth. Oopsies. <laughs> Put no more than a half inch of the mouthpiece in your mouth. Okay, the production of tone. It is, a, it is important not to overblow. Uh, what are they talking about blowing? That is, do not blow too hard until you develop control. Yeah, you'll figure out about this blowing stuff. You develop control of tonguing and play softly. Most teachers advocate the use of da to tongue. Actually, it's ta. I mean, to, not do. Um, to tongue, the low notes, and two for the high. Oh, I should put do for the low notes. To tongue. Oh, I'm running out of time. The low notes and two for the. Okay. Uh, for the first few days, play a little each day rather than long session. One day and nothing to the next as you progress in tone and technique. Make the playing periods longer. Care the recorder. If your recorder is made of wood, warm it, um, warm it with the hands before playing. Begin your first studies with short periods. Then you are through playing and be sure to dry the instrument with the swab. If you, um, if you assemble your new recorder very gentle and putting the sections together, the recorder is a delicate instrument and can force can crack it. If necessary, apply a little cork uh, and grease against tightening fitting joints. Okay, that's it.
I'm out of time. I'm out of time. Hey, it's going over here.